you want to start this? Uh, I don't know. Let's figure it out. Uh, my name's Joe. Uh, I'm Kyler. Welcome to Teched Out. We're, uh, let's see, we're going to talk about the week in tech, basically. So, a uh, little, little bites so it's easier to handle for you. For us nerds, we can kind of take the full thing, I guess, but we'll break it down for you. Yep. And we don't claim to know everything. We're just very... No, we're, enthu- we're enthusiasts. <laughs> yes, not experts here. All right. We love our tech. Yes. Um, let's see. So, first topic here. Let's go over the Pixel 5, I guess, and slash the 4A, yes. uh, if that ever comes out. Uh, yeah, we'll see. <laughs> okay. But, um, so yeah, we have some potential leaks of the Pixel 5, and uh, they're going for a major redesign, aren't they? Yeah, so they're going for that redesign. Um, I know they had a couple pictures. Let's see if this article links it. John Prosper himself. Have you have you ever seen any of his stuff at all? Uh, John Prosper? Uh, yeah, on Twitter. No, I actually, no. So if you scroll down the article a little bit, uh, there'll be it'll show the what's supposedly the Google Pixel Five design um, that he's got leaked. Uh, it was memed a lot in terms of you know the Pikachu face and all this other stuff on the back. Oh um, yeah. <laughs> um, so there's that in terms of the camera and that stuff. Um, you know that is. A pretty interesting camera design, so they're potentially going for a, a tri camera design. Which hopefully uh it has the ultra wide, just saying. So Yeah. I, I, <laughs> as I, much as they said that oh, you know, people only need the telephoto, that's all they want. Uh no. I thought I thought this was Android. We can you know, just give us something and we'll we'll put it to use kind of thing. So aren't they aren't they potentially bringing back oh yeah, aren't they potentially bringing back the fingerprint sensor too? Yeah, so did you scroll down by chance and uh, check out the little pictures and the renders on the bottom there? Uh, yep, yep. So looking at that and that stuff, that one kind of brings it back a little bit more to Pixel 4, which is currently out, mm-hmm. um, with the two-camera design, it looks like. Uh, but uh, personally, a better better screen on the front, and like you said, the fingerprint sensor on the back. Um, so obviously getting rid of the, the radar and all that stuff on the front, which personally, I it was cool tech, don't get me wrong. But uh, it was definitely gimmicky. You know, I really do like that uh, front screen way more than the Pixel I have now. It's uh, it's not very uh, you know, modern. Having full having full uh, coverage of the screen, bezel to bezel would be would be nice. You know, a lot of people didn't like the hole punch there for a little bit, but I uh, I gotta say it's growing on me. Yeah. Well, not only that, and only in terms of uh, the Pixel itself, I think with the what's called what was called the Soli radar on that forehead um mm-hmm. on the pixel 4 they i think they were only able to sell it in f- like 12 markets don't don't quote me on this but I, that's what i remember at least uh basically I didn't know that yeah they is that were, because of the the radar the facial yeah yeah that's yeah. Uh, super contra- controversial um worried when, about tracking exactly. and saving yep too yeah, okay. much too much yeah, data that makes sense well, why uh, why would they worry be worried about the same thing with fingerprint sensors i guess you don't really uh, faces yeah you're not really showing anything yeah. i guess face wise and your background and constant recording and hence the whole eye closing thing was a big deal um, oh yeah that was, <laughs> that was a deal. <laughs> so, yeah. i personally never had that problem but anything um, face wise is kind of a little a little sketchy and a little bit more technical but so uh the pixel 4 Four A, huh? Is that is that this one rendered right here with the more plasticky looking background? Uh, the one that or says backing? the the leak S seven, like that guy. Uh, is that the, yes, is that the one you're looking at? So yeah. actually, that one is also another Pixel five rumor. Oh, I see that. I see that. Which okay, which Interesting. goes into my I don't know, kind of a theory. Um, Pixel four A had this exact same, I guess you would call it a leak even though it hasn't came out yet. So obviously, yeah, a leak. Um, mm-hmm. It had this exact same screen. And the only thing that's different on the back is that the Pixel 5 renders have two cameras, whereas the Pixel 4a would have one. Um, oh, yeah, I did see those. Yeah. So in theory, granted, I think today they announced that Pixel 4a was still happening, which I hope so, just in terms of price and everything like that. Uh, but I could also see Google, in a sense, taking that, what they've already made, the 4a, 
And if they did end up putting the back of, you know, the two camera system on there, uh, kind of just incorporating the 4A body and just updating it a little bit and just calling it the 5. Um, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Just because they're already pre-built, so kind of just... So, in the, uh, in the uh, rumors and the uh, leaks, uh, apparently the Pixel 5 is not going to be a flagship phone. Correct. It's going to have a lower Snapdragon processor. Yes, uh, seven. 750- 56 765 or oh, 60, something like that okay so somewhere down there yeah not your 800 series or anything like why, that why do you think they are going for something like that uh personally i think that google unfortunately hasn't proven even though they're the makers of android which just ticks me off every time they they can't make the hardware they they've said it before that it is hard and you know more credit to them i believe that 100 percent, but at the same time you've had your pixel four is out. So you've had technically four years, give or take, um, mm-hmm. and you still haven't gotten it right. Um, I, it, it doesn't need to be iPhone level, but look at one plus, um, they've kind of been there, uh, give or take around the same time. The first one plus phone came out around the Nexus five line, which mm-hmm. was like 2000 and Oh gosh, 12, maybe I think. Um, but it just, I've never had a one plus I, I, believe they're fantastic phones though i've read so much on them yeah and so i think the reason why they kind of need to hit that you know 700 hundred dollar price point instead of a thousand now is because of they just haven't proven that it's worth it really at yeah. that price point um i would, I would have friday to agree. and that stuff when did you get your phone on, on a sale uh, yes, actually, I got it a uh, Black Friday sale. Exactly. Last like, year. I almost feel bad for the people that buy it or pre-order it in a sense, because I'm like, why? Especially it's, for it's, Android. It's pretty interesting, too, because with uh, with Google's Pixel phones, they generally, like, they drop in price pretty quickly, it seems, like, compared to other other phones. Yeah. Um, the Pixel 4 XL, right, or Pixel 4 right now, I believe you can get it for, like, 800 bucks, right? Yeah, I, I think it's even, I want to say 7 Well. Yeah, you might be right on the seven. So, um, what did it come out? What, what? How much did it come out? Oh, how much did it? How much did it hit? At least four. Yes. Uh, I think the the Pixel Four came out at the nine hundred, and then the XL version, which you kind of almost had to get because the battery was so bad on the four, <laughs> um, was your a thousand. I don't want to say it was eleven hundred. Maybe it was I almost on the on eleven hundred, but I'm not entirely sure. Maybe on the one hundred twenty eight gig version, I can see that. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, other than that, it's just that they havenven't proven it. So uh, personally, at a seven hundred dollar price point, I kind of feel like that's as that's as high as I can get. But, I agree. Um, and not only that, but just in terms of the whatever it is, you know, the seven fifty six, whatever Snapdragon lower end it is, it'll still have five G. Uh, and personally, I I don't know Pixel, like they say, but doesn't I feel like they kind of use it as an excuse of of lack of hardware but it is all about software so yeah their camera their the camera quality pictures are just amazing the camera's good yes uh video they definitely need to catch up on that a little bit they still need to work on that um, yeah I... uh, everyone else is catching up though kind of the camera and i don't know how many people in terms of if you go to order a smartphone if you know unless you're guys like us kind of thing like oh i'm pixel peeping or I'm, you know I'm, I'm spec chasing kind of thing maybe mm-hmm. um I don't know how many people would be like, oh, I don't care how, how, you know, how well can I use it kind of thing. So, yeah, like day to day use. Yeah. Like, oh, OK. Like, for example, for me, I love my Pixel just because it has such things as robo calling. So it'll block all of those. Um, That's an amazing feature. Yeah. The AI stuff is, is crazy, ridiculous. Uh, not saying you can't, you know, just put it on another phone, but some of that stuff is exclusive to the Pixel line and it, and it definitely makes me stay um i will say this though the biggest one which leads us to our next topic here uh the biggest reason why the pixel line for me is the best in terms of android is because of their updates yes Um, oh yeah so they get them first yes they get them not just first but like the day of as soon as it's dropped it you probably have it within a week and that's being you know i don't know generous i guess but i typically as soon as you search for it it's on there Yep, and so. if it's not, you can actually, I believe you can go to a site and uh, download it because it's ready for your phone. It just hasn't been pushed OTA yet to your phone. Exactly, yeah, yeah. So you can download the APK on all that stuff. Mm-hmm. Um, 
and just download it straight there. Even if you have the auto update, it does obviously make it get to your device faster. Um, I know there's what, about six other device manufacturers that I guess they're buddy buddy with Google in a sense of, <laughs> hey, let's make sure we, we get this how we want we it. We want updates. Yeah, exactly. Hey, yeah. we, we want to make sure our people are, are set. Um, yes. Because with Google, they have it where it's you get updates, especially with the Pixel line, you get it for three years. And other manufacturers are with oh. them. Um, so the first generation Pixel will not get an update to correct. Android 11. So, for example, I... It's going to be the first year, right? Yeah, so I came from the Pixel 1 XL. So this 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 fat boy here. Mm -hmm. um and the last update which they didn't even technically have to give it out was last december so 2019 so um yeah so i upgraded to upgrade for me at least pixel 3 um just because of that software update like I'm, I you want to be able to stay current yeah i want to stay current <laughs> yes it, yes it works you know replace yeah. the battery it worked just fine technically <laughs> um but it's because of that software that I, that is when I needed, I felt like I needed to upgrade at least. So apparently there was like a, did you encounter this? But apparently there was a quite the bug when the first generation Pixel got Android 10 that was causing the battery to drain extremely, like extremely faster. Uh, did you ever get that? Like, did your battery just kind of like take yes, a Yes, but at the, at the same time, I feel like they could. Unless you were to like geek bench it or just number crunch it somehow, I feel like they almost could have gotten away with it. Just because Talk it up to old hardware. Yeah, exactly. Because that's yeah, what I was thinking yeah. in terms like I wasn't thinking it was Android ten. I was just thinking, oh, my phone's like three years old or something. You know, three to four. <laughs> I guess four years old bad. technically with the Pixel Four. But yeah, I was like, oh, the battery's just just shot. Like it either needs to be replaced or hence I need to upgrade to the you know whatever the latest one is or whatever's getting updates at this point yep. something so. that's still current relevant yeah so speaking of updates and that stuff uh this article here is on the verge is actually talking about how you can actually download the android 11 beta which i wouldn't recommend obviously to people I believe you've been if... able to do that for a while right yeah yeah so this is the second go around i believe so oh, the second lap yeah yep yeah, yeah, before the uh final final release here so obviously don't Download a beta unless you have a second device or willing to deal with all the bugs and all that stuff. But yeah, just a and word of caution. Download, <laughs> don't download a beta unless you're willing to submit bug reports as well. Yes, so you can actually help the, fix the problem. Help the software. Yeah. Exactly. I, so. When I was uh, when I was a wee bit younger, I was I was willing to jump into a beta, but I didn't I didn't help the software team at all. I actually try to fix it. I was just mad that my device wasn't working. Yeah. So. It, it, and it, it kind of kills me in a sense too because it's like oh i want i want to know what's the latest and greatest um but it's like whoa let, let's hold off it is, it is called a beta for a reason so <laughs> there are apparently a lot of cool features coming i'm hoping i am really hoping we get screen recording in specific uh it's been in there twice they haven't removed it at least of now uh, but apparently it was in the Android 10 beta as well. True, true, true. Yeah. So w we will see. I am, I am, I am, I'm hoping. Yeah. But uh, did you say what the uh, apparent release date is for that? Uh, so, yeah. So we got a release date. So it should begin rolling out on September 3rd. Oh, wait. No, that, my bad. That's Android 10 begin on September <laughs> 3rd. Um, so it looks like the 8th right here. Interesting. So Android 10 rolled out September 3rd of last year? Yeah, so technically, which, you know... Almost exactly a year. 2020, What you know, what a year it's been kind of thing. Uh, mm -hmm. Software-wise, this shouldn't really get pushed back. Yes, you could have people working from home, but again, me being naive and just enthusiastic about stuff, I feel like, you know, coding is coding. You can do that as long as you have you a, can do that a screen. Yeah, but screen and the keyboard. I'm not a coder, so yeah. I, I not saying you don't I put in. The, on that. Yeah, not saying you don't put in the hard work, you know. But mm -hmm. uh, oh yeah, in terms of are... in terms of hardware, at least Maybe. I feel like it, 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 you know, it can be on time in a sense. So, um, so yeah, that's coming. Yeah, up. I'm That'll actually pretty nice. excited on that. I'm uh, pretty excited on that. 
The one thing that I will say is kind of if you're coming from an Android 10 device, let's say you have a Samsung. Uh, Samsung's great phones, all that stuff. Uh, but they typically don't have the reputation of getting maybe past two updates, I would say. Um, I would agree. And then not only that, but Android 11 uh, is not really, it's not like a major update. It's kind of just a, they're just fine tuning stuff. So uh, if you're kind of looking for, I need, you know, kind of like I did, I need the next update to be a reason why I upgrade a phone. Uh, you could use that as, as a reason, but it's not going to be a drastic one, me personally, unless you're coming from, you know, Android five or seven or something, you know, but something like lollipop or exactly. way back there. Yeah. Basically when they had, you know, dessert names. So was that right? Was Android five lollipop? I believe it was. I could be. That, no, 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 that, is, that is right. Cause that was on the Nexus Nexus five. Yep. So. I remember that one. <laughs> you know, a little, uh, little fun fact about uh, Nexus. I actually busted out my Nexus 6 this last weekend, okay. and I decided to just kind of mess around on it. Yeah. And I uh, I rooted it, and then I put Android 10 on it, and it actually ran pretty phenomenally for being such an old device. It ran pretty good. I was surprised. Yeah. And that's the biggest thing, too, in terms of uh, Android itself, any phone, getting an update. Uh I'm trying to, I don't remember the exact numbers, but there's articles out there that I guess Android 10 was actually the most adopted one because Android has that, that uh, issue in terms of obviously trickling it down to other manufacturers. Yeah, um, it takes a while. Yeah, compared to iOS and all that stuff, which gets five years, which is phenomenal. Um, but it had the biggest adoption rate, which was nice. So I, I'm kind of hoping more people kind of get on board with that. Uh, uh, if Samsung got on board, because I know there's OnePlus, there's Nokia, there's a bunch of other ones um, that I just can't think of off the top of my head. But if Samsung did it, I feel like, in a sense, they're almost the Apple of Android, if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. if, if they do it, then everyone else kind of follows suit. Mm -hmm. um, I guarantee if you were to ask a lot of people, uh, they might even say that Samsung is the one who controls android so <laughs> they are they are a major player in android if uh it, most people that i know that have an android phone have a samsung whether yes. it be the s s you know series or the note series mm -hmm. um it's pretty uh they're pretty popular they're pretty popular and i i can't knock them they are good phones yeah i, I had the hardware. note 8 not too long ago and i really did enjoy it yeah but I ended up switching to Pixel because I'm a I'm a Google fanboy. Yeah, I say that that software for nerds. I feel oh, yeah. like almost. <laughs> it was a, it was a, yeah. It's what moved me over. <laughs> yeah, but uh, um, that that uh, information that we got about uh, Android 11 was released at the Smart Home Summit this yeah. this week. Yeah, I believe that they also. Um, Oh no, I might be wrong, but I thought I thought that the next upcoming Nest speaker was also shown off in that same summit. Am I correct on that? I'm not sure. Uh, I believe so. Let's see. This article from The Verge is stating that looks like just some leaked stuff from a Japanese website. Oh yeah, that's probably what it was. Um, I tried to watch that summit, but I was working at the time, so yeah. I believe uh, rumor has it though. I think that it's gonna be announced next to uh, their typical, I guess, October event, whether it be a Pixel mm -hmm. 5 and 4A or however they're going to do it. But, <laughs> um, but yes, that is, it looks like some, I guess, leaked images of I'm what actually, it looks uh, like and all that stuff. I'm really excited on this speaker, actually. I uh, my my You know, my entire house is actually smart-homed. I have, like, yeah. smart thermostats, smart lights. Uh, smart plugs everywhere. I control all my lights on my desk with uh, smart smart homing devices. And um, this speaker in specific looks like it sits somewhere between the Google Home Mini and mm -hmm. then the Google Home Max. It yes. seems like it'll have a little bit bigger drivers. I'm not sure if we have actual details on this right now. Uh, in uh, terms we... of obviously the height, because there's a ruler and all that stuff, just saying <laughs> eight and a half inches tall. Um, so we don't know nothing. the actual size of the speakers on the inside yet, but no, it it does look like the audio quality on these will be better than the Google Home Minis. I like to 
I like to connect all of my Google Homes and have them all play music at the same time. And the Google Home minis just can't keep up with my my bigger Google Home speakers. Okay. In terms of sound quality, obviously. Yeah. Okay. Um, let's so, see. So this is going to be pretty cool. Yeah, it's saying down here on the bottom of this article, it said it could announce this next fall. I believe. You can bet that I'll be getting one. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm just curious in terms of, because what's the, how much is the Google Home Max going for? Is that like 300? Uh, Do they have that on sale I, yet? It is quite a bit. Because I'm just trying to think in terms of speaker quality, like. The Google Home know. Max actually does sound pretty amazing. I, yeah, I, it's, a, well, it's a big boy. I'm just saying in terms of what what are you trying to use it for, I guess, becomes the scenario. Because at this point, yes, they all do the same. The like, Max is you know, hey, yeah. hey, so-and-so, do do this for me. It's all, it's mm-hmm. all going to do that. Uh, but in terms of, yeah, speaker, if you're trying to use these, you know, outside barbecue or just like you said, surround sound or something like that. Then, House party, you know, because yeah. you can have them all sing or play the same thing at the same time. Yeah. So that'd be my biggest thing in terms of, I guess, when you would go for the Max and then when you would go for this new Nest speaker, in a sense. Yeah. So it's somewhere in the, in the middle. Yeah, exactly. Um, it's kind of curious, though. Well, I guess I'm kind of curious, not it. But... It, I'm guessing it's going to have... They're not showing the top, is what I'm noticing. No. So I'm curious if it'll be like the Home Mini, where it'll. I'm guessing it'll have the touch-sensitive buttons, not like physical Oh, yeah, ones. I assume so. Yeah. Um, I'm curious what colors are coming. I feel like, don't they usually try to match the pixel line that comes out? I think um, they do. Kind of. Because they I had do the know that coral they one, they had the dark gray one they had the chalk one and i was that it maybe i don't know if they Uh, had a blue one they had kind of they have kind of like a blue okay oh yeah the the sky the sky sky blue kind of thing uh yeah i believe that's what it is okay okay gotcha i uh i'm i'm a i'm a huge fan of smart homing stuff so i'll i'll definitely be snagging one of these up yeah i'll say i'll definitely give it a look to see what's up Mm -hmm. i said they gotta i don't know they gotta kind of pitch it to me at least in terms of you know what yeah. is this offering come different compared to a mini because i'm, I'm curious i'm yeah. curious the stats on on home you know smart home stuff how many people are using it for which i assume is a lot how many people are using it just for like hey play this or hey set a timer you know <laughs> you know um or I've actually trick. Given, yeah i've actually given one of these uh speakers away to my sister and uh i gave her some lights and uh, a couple plugs and j- just so she could fool around a little bit. Yeah. And uh, I thought she would actually use it like I use it, but I realize not everybody's into tech like I am. Mm-hmm. She just uses it like you were saying, hey, Google, play play this song. Yeah. Ooh. I ah, see. Yeah, see, it works. Now it's going to trigger everything, dude. Yep. There we go. <laughs> That's awesome. Hey, Google, stop. I need to turn my assistant off on my uh, device over here. Well, kind of speaking of that little tangent here, I kind of wish at this point we could almost give it a different name. Like they, they can keep it. Hey, you know, hey, G, basically. Mm-hmm. Um, but be able to change it and personalize it a yeah, little bit like more. If, if it can recognize my voice, it should be able to recognize if I say a different key phrase, you know? Mm-hmm. I, I, I guarantee you it can. It's just uh, when they give us the capability of doing so yeah so that'll be that'll be cool because then you can like personalize your assistant and at what at what point does it become like another member of the family though you know like dude these things you will give be it putting your kids name, to bed before you, even then... ha- you before you even have to <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> these things yeah. will be the new parents i tell you <laughs> hey google oh fuck stop <laughs> uh all right anyways sorry. okay Okay, so we got that looking forward to. Hopefully they actually have their conference this time, unlike the May event. Um, yeah, they canceled that one due to COVID, didn't they? Yeah, they did, but now everyone, obviously, I don't know if you watched it or even looked at it at all, Apple made theirs work. They basically turned it into a movie, so um, Google can do the same Did thing. they do a digital event? Was that yes. what it was? Yes, they did a digital event. It was looks like it was, it was shot, you know, 
by Pixar or Disney or something like that because it was phenomenal. Oh, it's a it's a movie it, quality. Oh yeah, it had the drone shots, you know, all this other stuff. I'm surprised there was no stunt stuntmen or anything like that. <laughs> but well, um, leave it to Apple to go up and over. Yeah. Oh yeah, over top. You, overachieve that. Oh yeah, that's Apple yeah. quality at that point. If not, then it's not Apple. Hey, it gets people talking though. I mean, I didn't even know about it. And now I want to watch it because yeah, you told me about it. Exactly. Yeah, I'm telling you, you just have to watch the intro. That's it. You don't have to care about the rest. The intro is like, really? The, that's, I can't even imagine how much that costs. <laughs> I, they got they got the money to spend. So yeah, yeah, they do. All right. Speaking Should, of, can we move text, on a little bit here? Yeah. Speaking of more tech stuff, a little PC stuff related here. All right. Um, what we got? So uh, recently, uh, AMD released their uh, 3000 XT CPUs, mm-hmm. and uh, pretty much, if you uh, if you know much about computer tech, uh, it's the Ryzen Matisse line, and it is uh, another 3600X, which is actually just an XT. They added a T to the end. Uh, they got the 3800 XT, and then they got the 3900 XT. And they all have the same cores and threads as their prior just X version, but they are just like a higher bin CPUs. They are better silicon. Mm-hmm. So um, they run at a slightly higher base clock, it seems, and then uh, their boost clock is a little bit higher as well. But uh, the big the big sell on these is that they came out at the same price as their X brethren. So the 3600 XT costs the same amount as the 3600X. Okay. And uh, what it is, is they actually run at their boost clock for longer. Okay, and, so they're uh, more stable, I guess. Yes, point. and it's actually, uh, you get quite a bit of performance gains, but um, if I remember correctly, the 3800X is, XT isn't quite worth it. Because its uh, its boost clock is only up to four point seven, yep, where 4.7. its base is, or where 4. the X version is four point five. Yeah, yeah. At that point, you're just uh, I I kind of feel like, and also in layman's terms, to kind of go back, you're not even going to see that performance difference if you uh, have a thirty eight hundred X right now and yeah. you wanted to upgrade to the XT. Yeah, yeah. Um, and also, I'm just kind of I don't know, computer tech for dummies here a little bit. Um, obviously CPU basically the brain of the computer uh mm-hmm. and obviously amd's version of it xt versions are the latest and greatest uh whereas the x came out a year ago correct yes the x series ones um and then the x the xt ones that are out now are basically a turbo version of that but more stable Is that yes right? okay just making yes. sure for and any, actually anyone paying attention looking kind of thing. <laughs> Looking on Newegg right now, the uh, 3600X, just the regular X version, is actually mm-hmm. uh, on sale for, what is that, $25 off? So it actually comes in at 224 But its uh, normal price is two forty nine ninety nine, Yeah. And the 3600XT comes in at two forty nine ninety nine. So it's actually pretty interesting what AMD did here. They kept the 3600X and the other variants on the shelves but put out like better binned versions of them at the same price as they were originally released. So I wonder what they're trying to do here. I wonder what their main goal is. Maybe they're just trying to give users better performance for about the same price that they paid. I'm thinking so. Also, in, in terms of CPUs, whether it be Intel or AMD or anything like that, how often do they release something? Is it once a year? I believe it's about once a year. Uh, so if that's the case, maybe uh personally i feel like maybe they just needed to one of those mm-hmm. things where it's like yeah it's better like uh, like you said you're not going to notice it if you're getting the x variant of something and going to a xt usually yeah you're you're not going to notice those performance uh, gains unless it was you know you're coming from a obviously an older one a 1600 series or any just any couple of years older Probably, mm-hmm. what would you say? Probably uh, three years or more, um, or would you say if you're even two? if you're if you're on first gen Ryzen, like uh, if you were to have the sixteen hundred X or even yeah. the twenty six hundred X, actually, yeah, um, both of those you would gain, you would see the performance gain jumping to thirty six hundred X or XT, whichever one you want. Um, 
you also uh, get, uh, well, no, you would have to have the proper motherboard, but you actually uh, could potentially use a, a Gen 4 PCIe slots at that point in time as well. Okay. I'm not sure if the uh, other Ryzen's uh, were capable with uh, Gen 4 PCIe. Okay. Yeah, because I know AMD, the big favorite on them is that was it AM4, that socket. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You go from an older one and you just pop this new, new, new beast in and it should work, give or take, obviously, your motherboard. Every motherboard's going to have a little tweak to it that comes out now compared to the, the one you're rocking with your 1600 or anything like that. So, but it'll technically still work. So, um, another reason why I think that they put out these XTs is. I'm curious on the new consoles. Are they using this kind of exact same specs or at least, you know, PCs are on, on the same par maybe, which obviously that's probably going to get roasted in whatever the comments or whatever like that. But you know what I mean? In Mm -hmm. terms of, um, are they, are they doing this to, you know, Oh, we have 10 frames more on PC than we do on console. So here you go. Here's the T version of it. So, yeah. Here, here's a little boost until we put out, uh, you know, the Zen 4, three. Yeah, or Zen, yeah, Zen yeah. three. Yeah. So interesting. Uh, interesting enough, I believe that AMD. I, I don't know all the full. I haven't looked into this too much, but I believe AMD is actually going to be switching their socket here pretty soon. Yeah, they've so been I saying don't, that. It's not going to happen on Zen three, but I believe it's going to happen when they decide to release Zen four. Which so if you bad, were. Though. Huh? Which isn't bad though, in terms of like, no. at least they yeah. give you in a sense that heads up. But they've had what they'll they'll have four generations, give or take, obviously of T versions, whatnot of of a CPU that fits on, you know, your same motherboard. You don't have to update your motherboard as well every single time if you want to update a CPU. Yep. The only reason you have to upgrade your motherboard at that point in time is uh, if you want like different features, like I stated with the. Uh, PCI Express uh, Gen 4, as mm-hmm. well as uh, like uh, if you want Thunderbolt ports or uh, yeah, it's USB faster, C ports. faster speed mm-hmm. and updated, yeah, mm-hmm. ports basically. But um, yeah, so that's pretty interesting. I am uh, I I have recently built my new PC and uh, I have a 3900X in it, but uh, I part of me wanted to get the XT, but. Yeah, I I wouldn't see any uh, worthwhile performance gains from it. Yeah, well, I was going to say that's also I feel like just whether it be marketing or also just tech enthusiasts like us and that stuff, just wanting if if you know the latest and greatest is coming, you you're always hesitant on buying what is out now. Yeah, yeah. Like I feel like that is always the case. You're like, oh, I I already know what's rumored and all this other stuff to be coming out and. Obviously, you know, mumbo jumbo, the terms they use is just like, oh, it's just going to be the greatest and fastest thing you've ever had. <laughs> like, all right, I'm pretty sure this 3900 is going to be fine. But <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so just, just stuff like, like do that. I wait? Or... Exactly. It's like, oh, my God, yeah. it's going to be out next year. But like, dude, just buy it now. No, no, no. I already know what's coming out. Like, oh, my <laughs> goodness. All right. Uh, speaking of stuff that's coming out here, let's jump on over to the Microsoft stuff here. Okay, we got finally the Series X stuff coming out July 23rd, going over strictly Microsoft exclusives, first party. Um, yes, kay. I am actually so first, so first excited takes on, on this. Okay, so we got what we got 9 a.m. Pacific time, 12 Eastern. Uh, we got 23rd, so that's a Thursday. So obviously mark your calendars for that one. Um, mm-hmm. I will be. I also saw a poll out there. Uh, it, it says it's you know it's going to include Halo Infinite, all this other stuff. They teased a trailer up for it next week or next week, a couple weeks ago. Um, they the poll was: Do you think they're going to show off or talk about Halo at the beginning, the middle, or the end? What's your thoughts on that? So. When they did uh when they did Halo 5, mm-hmm. I feel like it was at the beginning, wasn't it? 
It was like, boom, they just dropped a bombshell and it was Halo 5. I could be entirely wrong. I want to say it was at the end. Is Halo 5 the one, or am I thinking you're wrong? I don't think it was Halo 4. It might have been, oh God. What was the one where he had like the poncho on and he came out of the desert? Uh, That was Halo 5. Was it 5? Okay. I I, I feel like that was at the end because they showed that one off. He, you know, he had his poncho on, um, walking through the desert, all that stuff. And then Mm -hmm. obviously they talked about it, but... I believe that was it they might have had they always typically they don't just leave it hanging there they talk about it some more they might include maybe one more thing um some details on other stuff and then that's it so it's usually catered towards the end personally though i think this is going to be at the very front you think so i, I think See, so just because I... here here's why um they got so much crap in a sense on what was it the march one was it no may sorry the May event that they had in terms of gameplay. Gameplay. Yeah, yeah, when it was more of a here's some game trailers. Um that even for example, when they got crap throughout this whole generation of the Xbox One and not showing enough game footage or just games in general at E3, that very next year, all Phil Spencer talked about, I'm pretty sure his only words were, and here's this game, and here's this game, check out this game. Like he didn't stop. Like it was go go go. So mm-hmm. usually he was firing off the game shots. Yeah. So usually when they get when they get you know hit down a little bit, they usually go come up. out swinging. Yeah, they go above and beyond, and they're swinging for that fence at that point. Um, so this is why I think Halo is going to just be like they might do one game or something before, but I don't know. I don't think so. I think they're just going to be like this is what you guys want. Boom. Halo Infinite, which, by the way, they're going to show off some campaign, which, guess what? That's actual gameplay. Mm-hmm. Unless it's the cutscenes, that'd be a, that'd be a rude awakening. But It really would be. <laughs> you see, uh, because of your reasoning, almost exactly is why I think it'll be at the end. It's okay. going to be what everybody wants to see. It's going to be what like people come to the show for. Like so When I think Xbox, stay. I'm thinking Halo. Yep. So... They're gonna want the people to stick around, watch all of the all the entire show, and see, and maybe throughout the show they'll see like, oh, that game looks cool too, or that game looks awesome. Maybe I'll get that one as well. But uh, to keep interest and keep people watching, I feel like they might put it at the end. Um, I would love for it to be at the beginning. I'm gonna watch the entire show either way. Yeah. Um, and I I would just want it at the beginning because I. I'm a big Halo fan, so, you know, as soon yeah. as the info is out, I want to see it, you know? Yeah. But uh, um, I believe they're probably going to play it at the end. Yeah, and like you said, so kind of in a sense, what I'm thinking of is when you go to a movie, um, you're obviously not there to watch the trailers before it, but they just happen mm-hmm. to be there, so obviously you're going to comment on them. Um, so like you said, kind of that Halo. that route, um, have Halo Infinite at the end, people are going to stick around, you know, like you said, kind of market them with other stuff maybe that they might want to buy or might be yeah. obviously it's microsoft first party so um so in a sense if this is microsoft first party all of these i could be wrong all these come into game pass right uh, yes that's how it yeah. should work so it should it's basically yeah. xbox game pass like big old marketing campaign i would xbox think so game pass event. <laughs> yeah um because, yeah, you'd, you'd wait for Halo Infinite, like you said, towards the end. You might, you know, get sold on some other stuff here before. You know what I do want to see, which I don't think we'll see, mm-hmm. but I would love to see a new Fable. Uh, Xbox, Xbox owns the rights to Fable, and I would love to see a new Fable. Not, not, that, not they, that they put, um, I think they, was it Twitter or a website or something? Yeah, they, they made they like a the placeholder Fable account. Yeah. I, I, I um, I almost want to put money on it in a sense that we do see something because they have to come out of the gate swinging and not just, uh, don't get me wrong. Everyone wants to see, especially big Xbox fans and want to see the halo infinite one. But at the same time, you don't want to ride on those coattails. Um, yeah. Kind of thing. Um, yeah. Hell, Hellblade two here, uh, in this article is talking about that. They did that, that showing at the game awards last year. Mm-hmm. Um, so some gameplay of that would be nice. Uh, but like you said, I feel like they need to show other stuff or even tease it. Like you said, Fable Fable would be yep. legit, whether it be a reboot, Fable 4. I almost think it would be a reboot. Um, I, I would even be I'd be happy with that. I've been a big Fable fan ever since, you know, Fable 1. 
Yeah. And uh, I, I like Fable 1. Fable 2 is all right. Fable 3 sucked. Okay. <laughs> and then whatever Fable that they were making after that, garbage. It was like oh, Fable Legends. Fable I Legends? That, I, don't, yeah, I, I that played the garbage. beta of that, and I think that's as far as it got. Why I would not? love nice. a true Fable 4, but I would be happy with a Fable 1 remake, remaster with mm-hmm. all the fancy graphics and all that. I would play it again. I would buy it again. Yeah. Well, not only that, in terms of with Playground Games making it, supposedly, mm-hmm. it's pretty and well they're, known, they, I guess. Are, aren't they who make uh, Forza? Uh, Forza Horizon. Mm-hmm. So Which are great games as well. Yeah, so they're known to have not only good graphics, but they know how to have fun with it, you know? Because mm-hmm. Forza, for, Forza for Horizon or whatever, Horizon 4 kind of thing, um, you know, has Lego in it, and they had Hot Wheels in the third one. Like, they know how to have a good time. So I feel like have they could do Have you played the Horizon good. games? Uh, yes. The only hard part for me is, I don't know, I play them, you know, that maybe that month that they're out, and then if I ever drop off of it, it's it's completely done. Like, yep. I, I just play other stuff. Like, I don't... Yes, it's a beautiful game and all this other stuff, but I don't find myself going back for it, even with those cool DLCs. I did go back for the... When it did come out, the Hot Wheel one, because that was like a... Yeah, that was... That was a nostalgia awesome. hit kind of thing. Mm-hmm. Um, other than that, really, not so much. But, you know, props to them, because they're always kicking butt on that, so... Yeah, it's it's the same thing here though. Like I I, I love the games, and mm-hmm. then I'll play them pretty pretty steadily for roughly like a month, and yeah. then I'll drop them off or drop off of them, and I I won't go back. And if I do go back, I look at the map and I see how much I have to oh, do. Oh yeah, it's an anxiety, and it, it's overwhelming. <laughs> it's overwhelming because you're just like, wow, I can't even remember where I was. Yeah. They are fun though. They are beautiful games. Yeah, so we'll uh we'll see how they how they treat, I guess, Halo, where they put it, how much gameplay they're gonna show in the campaign, like they said. Um You know, speaking of potential games though. Yeah. Xbox uh reportedly interested in acquiring Warner Brothers games. This will be interesting. Yeah, so what do we got here? AT and T looks like they're in some some uh, trouble in terms of debt since they got a couple billions they're sitting on mm-hmm. uh, for the negative at least in the red. So we got what do we got? Some Microsofts in there, Activision, EA, Take Two, and Microsoft is interested in acquiring this studio. Well, I guess not just what? one studio overall. WB. Yeah, all of uh, all of WB Interactive, right? All of their yeah. game studios. Yeah, so we're all got? of their gaming. Uh, uh, what's the right word? Well, uh, we got IPs. You got mm-hmm. they don't technically get the IP, but they can at least you know use that license in a sense. Interesting. So, like, if Microsoft were to buy WB Interactive, they wouldn't get the IP for Batman. Exactly. It doesn't come with the studio. No, I, I actually did not know that. Uh, let's see. So it's noted here. Oh well, it's not that they, it's not that they don't get it. It's still owned by WB Interactive, which is now a part of Microsoft, and they can use that IP. Correct? That's how it works. Yeah. Yes. Um, I think the only that one they sense. actually would own themselves, I believe, is actually Mortal Kombat. I'm reading this right. Certain properties like Mortal Kombat will be included in the sale of NetherRealm Studios. So if, let's say if, Microsoft yeah. did buy Warner Brothers Interactive yeah. and they acquired Mortal Kombat, do you think they would make an exclusive? No. I don't think so either. Um, they would lose a lot of money that way. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, kind of listen to podcasts or just reading in general about all this other stuff. Someone had a really good point. Microsoft owns Minecraft. Um, Mm -hmm. And look what they've done with that. They could have technically just shoved it on the Xbox and said, this is ours. Nobody else touch it kind of thing. Unless you want to come, come on our side kind of thing. Um, But they released it out to the wild, kept it where it was. You know, I, I feel like they've done a great job with that. Uh, Was it not already on, or did Microsoft always own minecraft or uh, no, so that was mojang so they did buy it from mojang yeah so they bought that for so two it, billion i don't remember what was year it already on other consoles by the time they bought it yeah so it was already on your pcs it was already on 
I don't know if it was on Switch just yet. I don't think, no, it, I don't was, think it was. But it was on PlayStation. You know, I find that uh okay. Yeah, because they could have stopped support for those other consoles. Yeah, they could have done the exclusive flat. like uh, you'll only get these skins on the Xbox, which I think they might mm-hmm. have, but they're they're skins. But it, you know, they're not. It doesn't cosmetic. Get, yeah, it doesn't get cruddy or anything like that. Like, oh, this lag's so bad on the PlayStation compared to Xbox, it runs smooth. Mm-hmm. Like, no, they're not doing that, which is why I see Mortal Kombat still thriving. I think, so I think Minecraft is like the most popular game in the world, isn't it? Oh, it's definitely up there for sure. Uh, I, God, I don't know with Fortnite and that stuff. I, well, Fortnite's and always, League of Legends. Yeah, always in that and, uh, conversation. Wow. Yeah, it's definitely on there. I don't, it's always on, you know, Twitch or something like that. But I don't know about popularity in terms of unless you're going off downloads or anything like that. Because I know obviously a lot of people buy it, probably you know, handful of times. So the best-selling video game to date is Minecraft. Really? What's second? Yep. Did you do you have a list there? A uh, list of best-selling video games. One moment. Okay. It, uh, second, can you take a wild guess? It's got to be Fortnite, right? No. It's, it's something that they Tetris. remade several times. It went from Xbox 360, PS3, all the way to PS4. Really? And so, Xbox One. What, Minecraft again? Grand Theft Auto. Oh, five? Oh, yes. yeah. That's the number two. Wait, is Tetris and then on there? after that, it's Tetris. Oh, wow. That got knocked yeah, off. Tetris it's... is number three. That got knocked off. Okay. Gotcha. Interesting. So Minecraft is it sold over two hundred billion <sighs> copies. I'm curious when when they bought it. Obviously, I'm pretty sure at this point they've made their money back. But oh yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> um, but no, seeing a Batman or even like what's rumored. I don't even know if it's rumored at this point. I'm pretty sure WB or someone has said that Harry Potter RPG isn't going to be out supposedly next year. Do you remember the gameplay for that? Or yes, yeah, uh, so it looks. I don't know if it was so gameplay. Good. Was it gameplay? It was gameplay. I don't even care it? if it was. Like it just looked like it should. Like it I, looked amazing. Yeah. I've been asking for this for a long time. A Harry Potter like MMO RPG. Like come on. I almost well, feel like MMO, if you did it RPG. like because it was first person, right? Mm-hmm. So, not saying tailor it around there, but give it as an option. Imagine it as a VR game as well, or at least support VR. Make your own wizard in the Harry Potter universe. Dude, you're a wizard, that Harry. Be, That's all I want to hear. <laughs> that would be so cool. Well, I don't want to hear Harry, though. I want to hear Kyler. You're nah, a wizard, dude. Kyler. Dude, they're going to probably just butcher it or something. Just yeah, like I any of the not. AIs or something like that. They'll just butcher it. What's your name? <laughs> or all these, you know, just bad named characters and all this other stuff. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That would be a big uh that would be a big move though if they did acquire WB Interactive. Yeah, and supposedly that I guess be. uh Phil did an interview or something like that where the CEO of Microsoft even said, you know, unless we need to basically keep on buying if if it's worth it. Um so I'm mm-hmm. really hoping that, you know, they're on the they're kind of pushing that envelope across or something like that saying, "Yeah, hey, hey, We'll, we'll give you that that four billion that you want, because um, yeah, right here it says parent company is looking to pay down its 154 billion dollar debt with WB valued at four billion. So uh, at least they'd be down to 150, you know. So yeah, <laughs> <laughs> quite a bit of debt actually. Yeah, but them owning those studios, I'm curious. Again, that should then become a. Does that become a first party then? I don't know. I don't, I'm curious how that all works. I'm just, yeah, overall, I'm just it's... curious for Game Pass. I wonder if those games would fall under Game Pass. It'd be great if it did. Game Pass is a fantastic value, by the way. It really is. Game Pass is wonderful. I have Game Pass Ultimate, PC oh. Game Pass, Xbox Game Pass, and then Xbox Live as well. It's like 14 bucks or 15 yeah. bucks. It's definitely worth it. I feel like it's definitely the way to go compared to buying individual games at this point oh um, yeah oh yeah especially if they're for well specifically if they're first party well even something like uh, you know indie stuff goes on there yeah or you yeah, wait yeah, a couple was... months and boom it's on there like <laughs> how, do you, how do you not um, game pass is pretty amazing yeah kind of going yeah, off game enough. pass though um check out this little tiny xbox controller um going for the x cloud service which so let's real see. quick yeah. Have you tried the Xbox X Cloud service at all? Uh, the, I have not. I know it's in beta right now for 
Android and iOS, I believe. I've uh, I've actually got beta access to it, and um, from just tinkering with it, I've only played it for probably about a half hour at a time. Okay. But I've played it multiple half hours at a time. It it does run pretty smoothly, and okay. I did just connect my standard like Xbox controller to it, and it it was pretty smooth experience. Um, I was I was pleasantly happy with it. I just played Halo. That's all I played. Oh, so shooter though, because obviously shooters and that stuff you're going to notice a little bit more in terms of latency than. Mm-hmm. than action I, I didn't game, play. Maybe? I don't know if you can play a multiplayer, but I was playing campaign. Okay. Yeah, I'm curious what the the beta oh, yeah. I guess limits because yeah, it's it should just be streaming it kind of off your console too is it even going off your console at that point no it's going it's off the going xbox off server the that servers point. that they have yep. okay yeah so i'm kind of curious the only thing like like we were talking about earlier in that stuff that kind of disappoints me um and it almost kind of looks like because so 8-bit do here um they've made Dell. oh sorry Dell. my bad no it, it doesn't matter that's just <laughs> how i say it um they made, uh, what do we got? An N, is it NES or Super Nintendo or however what, however you want to say it, kind of thing. Um, they, they oh, made, you talking about the other controller? Yeah, they made those before, and personally, this kind of looks like one of those. You dip it in matte black and you throw some Xbox stuff on it. Uh, yeah, you, know. you add an Xbox button. Yeah, um, not bad, you know, but I, I don't know. I'd like to see this compared to a typical just Xbox controller. I feel like. Size wise, yes, it is more portable because of the size, but at the same time, personally, a cell phone, which you already have, and an Xbox controller isn't really that big. No, it's not. Unless you're trying to randomly fit this in, like, I don't know, a side I, pocket of a, a backpack I, or your, you know, pant pocket. I don't know. I do believe that that's why they made this, like, slimmed down version of an Xbox controller. I don't know if you can even call it that, where it's how the sticks are how the sticks are laid out on that controller i that's probably for ergonomic reasons probably yeah. more comfortable but i do believe that they made this so you can actually fit it in your pocket okay mm-hmm. yeah and a lot of people were saying too i saw you know comments or something on this article or other articles in general talking about is technically a bluetooth controller that's all you're working with here just obviously xbox skinned and themed um mm-hmm. they're like oh does the other ones work Obviously, I I can't tell you the the honest answer, but I would I would assume so, I would guess so at least, um, because it is Bluetooth. Are you talking about the uh, other the Nintendo ones. controllers? Yeah. Yes, they should work on your phone. I don't see why not. Yeah, I don't see why not either. It's just a Bluetooth signal. And that's it. So, but uh, this controller is actually already on presale on Amazon. Okay. What do we got? And so for forty five bucks. bucks. Yeah. Which uh, I don't know if it's quite worth that to me, considering that their uh, their other controller I believe is like twenty dollars. For which one? Uh, the same company. Yes. Uh, well, not only that, I'm not saying you know. Let's say. Oh, that's it's their kinda, It's kind of it's a kind of hard sale too, because if you have, you have this X Cloud that Microsoft's providing. Mm-hmm. Uh, how many people don't have already an Xbox or an Xbox controller at this point? In terms of if you know you're you're wanting to play the X Cloud service, and you don't, you have... most likely, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. I have one sitting right here. Exactly, yeah, exactly. <laughs> so it's just like, uh, not only that, forty five. How much is a new controller now? We we uh, talking sixty or seventy? Uh, you could probably get a new controller fifty five, sixty. Okay, so you, you know, I guess you're going for form factor here. That, that's understandable for that price point. Mm-hmm. It's kind of cool for being not Xbox, like. But Xbox. Yeah. yeah. It's like what was that guy playing on? Oh, oh, okay, that's kind of cool. And then, yeah, like we are doing right now, it's a good conversation piece. So. It is an officially licensed Xbox product too. Yeah, yeah. So Microsoft licenses Xbox controller, and sure, it fully functions with the X Cloud. But. Um, I w- I would like to take a look, closer look at it though. When, uh, I'm, I'm when really curious the on the uh, those analog sticks. Yeah, I'm, I'm curious I'm on how those. I just, are. I'm just curious why. Microsoft gave you the license for this controller and all this other stuff, and you're just like, eh, I prefer it in the middle. Which, you know, 
good for you but if it's true yeah, xbox i feel like it's gotta be you know you basically gotta match the same big controller just offset. size it down i would be uh i i would be interested to see a uh them do like a mock-up of the other layout just so i can imagine it in my hands like i'm imagining it but uh it's hard to actually really know where the thumbsticks would sit if they were actually set up like a proper xbox controller yeah and then what do we got reading here to a little bit more battery should last around 18 hours which is impressive it's pretty good for that size yeah usb c uh, for charging so uh, xbox doesn't have usb c so i guess that's another thing another cable you would have to carry around i guess or something but usb c universal carry it for everything unless you have an iphone <laughs> and it's supposed to ship uh the 21st yes of september what do we got shipping september 21st oh and it cl- comes with the phone clip so that is something i don't have actually i would Ooh, love to go. get a phone clip for my controllers yeah i'm curious how that how that's going to go about because correct me if i'm wrong i thought they were going to do it they were going to release or at least try to x cloud this year oh um, here we go yeah unrelated microsoft's own launch plans for x cloud as part of game pass later this year hmm. okay yeah um you should really try to get into the beta just to like check it out test it it's yeah. actually pretty uh pretty impressive what they've been able to do i mean when you compare it to google stadia which uh i'm a google fanboy but yeah it doesn't mean the hard part and stadia, i see why why people when why, why no they knock them which is good but how long are they going to support it i need to see you need to build that trust kind of thing mm-hmm. where microsoft does have that um and the servers alone i'm not saying google I've, doesn't but jeez I really wanted Stadia to do well too. I I was uh, looking forward to it. I was going to pre-order the Founders Edition and all that, but then I started reading the reviews, and it's it's not worth what everybody's paying for it. Yeah, and not only that, but just tech in general, you gotta you gotta almost in a sense think about it too, and buy what they have now and not what they're promising. Mm-hmm. So you gotta always keep that in mind. Yep. Um. Yeah. Other than that, I think we're good. Well, yeah, I think that ends off this week's tech news. Um, thanks for uh, thanks for watching, everybody, and uh, really appreciate it. Yeah, I was gonna say come back. You know, try to do these every week. Uh, life does get busy, but we do mm-hmm. try to do it every week. Uh, give you little tidbits of what's going out there in the tech world. Also, if you've somehow made it this far. Awesome. Thank you. I don't even care if you <laughs> skipped ahead yeah. at this point. Um, obviously, we're going to try to leave some timestamps down below so that can yep. help out with that. Get you get you where you need to. Um, not only that, but this is teched out. Uh, try to help you out with anything tech related. So. Yep. And if we have the answers, you know, just ask questions in the comments and we'll try to. Yeah, let's make this a conversation. We're again, we're tech enthusiasts. We're not professionals. We're not pros or no. anything like that. Just enthusiasts. So leave those and comments if we were down wrong below. Anywhere, yeah. If we were wrong anywhere, please let us oh, know. Oh, correct. Yeah, correct. Correct me for always sure. Always willing to learn. <laughs> yeah. I, I know I'm not always right. So, yeah. I was going to say, again, if you've made it this far, uh, you know what to do. There's that little red button down there. All that good stuff. Like it, bell. You've heard it before. Yeah. So, you know what to do. Yeah. Um, Other than that, yeah, we'll catch you hopefully next week.